Hello everyone and welcome to the Arcaholic Journals. I'm Lady M and your hostess with the mostest and we're in the Arctic right now. It's it's a snowstorm blizzard. We're collecting uh, silica pearls and oil, things like that. So while I was out here, I bred um, my quets with Mega again, and I got this egg. So this is a little experiment. Look, we got a drop coming right here. This little experiment is I put the egg down just to see, uh, you know, in the Arctic, would you need, let's pick that up. Would you need an air conditioner and all that? And the answer, pretty much what I thought is no. You drop an egg and it's gonna hatch. So I put this egg down here. I don't think I'm gonna, keep it here but I have been thinking about making um, an arctic base probably up on these mountains so that we have a place to go to collect all these things and if I do that I might uh, fence in an area to do breeding because if you don't need air conditioners uh, yeah that's pretty cool right so I'm gonna pick this up before it gets uh, too far along but this is uh, cryo Mega, it's a 469, and my Mega Baby right here, who's a 372. Yeah, so we'll see what we get in a little bit. Meanwhile, we got a pretty purple thing coming down here. So close. Let's see what we get. What do we get? What do we get? Did we get anything? We got a candle. Primitive metal hatchet and a smithy. So let's take them all. I love when they spawn that close. That's pretty cool. So it is really blowing. We got more silica pearls out here. Getting in the water, it makes us really cold, so we can't stay in for that long. But we can stay in long enough to grab some of these pearls from these. Uh, Oysters, I'm going to assume they're oysters. There is also a shark running around out here somewhere. I saw his fins earlier. So luckily we've got some great fur armor on. Uh, I'm going to put all of this. We've got quite a few pearls uh, and oil and some crystals so we're going to take those back because we don't come this way that often we're not that close unless we do make a base what are we up to now oh we're halfway yeah we're going to pick this up at the last second so let's get a little bit more oil while we're out here see if i didn't i killed a few of the little birds earlier but I don't think I'm going to really make anything. So there's really no point in getting them until I'm going to make, uh, we need them to make, to make that, um, oh, that freaking armor that I can't remember the name of now. The ghillie suit, ghillie suit, ghillie, 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 ghillie. Yeah, see, we have plenty of ghillie suits. Holy moly, we're starving. That's not good. And that's egg health. How did we get to starving? I just ate a bunch of steaks. Uh, can I build a fire? Probably not because I probably don't have the basic stuff for a fire. Oh, look at this. Well, you know what? We're just going to eat some mijo berries because that's all I got right now. I got meat, but I got no way to cook it. Why do I am not able to make a campfire? Because maybe I haven't learned it? I redid all my engrams, and there it is. What do I need? Thatch, flint, and wood. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. All right, so I think we're going to grab our egg, head out of here. We'll finish hatching it uh, at the nursery back home with the air conditioners so let's pick that up get on a bird get out of this snowstorm let's see if we can see that shark yeah see he's under there oh, that's the fish be careful not to get too close to the water because i have fallen off before and i don't want that to happen 
Hey guys, we're back, and I brought the egg back here, and I hatched it. We have a juvenile female, level 377, but the breeding mechanics have changed a little bit, and there is a pacifier on it, and it says, wants to be, let's see if I can get it better, wants to be hand-fed comfort food, parasaur kibble. So I looked up Parasaur Kibble, and we can make some. Uh, I, I actually do have some vegetables over at the other base. So I'm going to go over there. We're going to make some kibble, and we're going to bring it back. All right, so I have all the ingredients here to make the kibble. We need Parasaur Egg. We need Long Grass, which I just put in. We need cooked meat, uh, major berry, fiber, and water skin. So we're going to light the fire. Um, it's only by pure coincidence that I actually have long grass here. So I don't think we need those in there. We'll give it an extra space. You can also see in here that here's the birthday cake uh, ingredient. Beer jar, birthday candle, dinosaur eggs, which I don't have, so. Hopefully this is going to be... Oh, there's one! Okay, so let's let's fill up. Um, we're going to fill these up because we're going to have to keep them going. Because it would be really cool to get as much as I could... there two kibbles uh, uh, uh. this is really great to actually have the kibble that it wants I don't know I don't know what the pacifier means um, or what that's going to help it I mean, it would be really cool if that added some level ups or something, don't you think? But these corn or long grass, it's going to uh, go bad in about four minutes. So I'll keep doing this and then I'll be back and we're going to go feed it to the quets. All right, we have now got 11. <coughs> We have 11 pieces of kibble. So let's take that out. And let's take it over. Hello, Gamma. We put it on Gamma 3. Whoops. If I do it right. Lightens it up a little bit. Let's take it over and feed it to our baby. All right, we were discussing it in chat. Each stat modifier is different. Okay. Boosts to the stat. So let's, um, let's give this baby the kibble. Hand feed it. I think that's what it's talking about is sticking it right in here. How much is it going to need? Let's just give it half of it at first. So did that make it happy? Oh, look. I swear it just grew. It wants to be hand-fed more kibble. Oh, it ate the whole flipping thing. Let's just give it one piece. Hey guys, I'm back. Guess what? I did it wrong. And I found that out after I stopped recording. So, what I did wrong is I tried to put it in the inventory when I need to put it in my slot zero. 
It wants to be hand fed. See the E button comes up, hand feed the kibble. Imprinting 35%, whatever that means. We get a bonus. So there we go, imprinting 35%, raised by Lady M. Yeah, so I think what happens with the imprinting is, um, this is what I'm reading, imprinting is prompted by the baby or juvenile or adolescent, showing a wants care. Um, this will raise the imprinting process and set a timer for currently three hours until I can imprint further. And I think um, that gives me a bonus of damage and resistance when I ride it. So basically, I get a bonus when I ride this bird of some sort. So it's going to be another three hours. That's going to be like midnight. So I'm going to put this kibble in the refrigerator. I guess one piece was enough. I made ten. It should keep for a long time, so if I need it again... Meanwhile, I want to go ahead and eat this. It's going to go bad. That is cool. I imprinted on it. So these babies, uh, I raised them. I didn't really pay attention to the imprinting, so they don't have any. Yeah. So that's how it works, guys. They want you to hang around and baby these babies for a long time. So there you go. Alright, thanks for joining us in this episode of Arcaholic Journals. And we will catch you next time. Bye!